I am a local car collector and I help with the car auctions. Uh, and I guess for my expertise in that and the overall I wanted to see if they could uh, expand this auction for the economic benefit to the city. And uh, we haven't had this auction here, you know, for now it's almost uh, 15 years, so this is the first. But New Orleans was, a fa uh, I guess, a famous place for car auctions. And maybe 25 years ago, we had the biggest car auctions in the United States, right here in New Orleans. But since that time, it, uh, maybe we haven't had an auction in 15 years. It's not the biggest auction yet, but that's what happens. Uh, as more and more people come and enjoy the community and what it has to offer, uh, they can go anywhere and sell a car. It's on a trailer, you know, most cases, and the bidders fly in. So I'm local. I have 145 automobiles. I drive a different one every day. Uh, you can do it from that standpoint, or you can do it from the standpoint that you just want to make a great investment. Uh, I used to say all the time, you can't, you know, you, you, got, you put money in a CD, you hold a piece of paper. You put money in an automobile, you get to use it, you get to look at it, and you can sell it and get your money back. Well, I did it about 35 years ago. I bought one car, and I thought that would just be a fun thing to do on the weekends. And then we see a second car. And then you say, well, I'll never own more than three cars. And I'll never own more than four cars. But if you buy them that way, you fall in love with each of them. They like the children. You don't want to sell them, so you just have to find a bigger building. But it's been a good, it's been a good investment. Most of our bidders, he, uh, Mr. McCary has done a lot to advertise this on a national basis to get the bidders in and get sellers in. Most of the cars, if you look around, they're not many local cars, and this is the concept. They have a lot of people, you just give them a place for a, a seller and a buyer to meet, and, and where they can have a great time while they're here. We've got both bidders and, and consigners here. The, uh, the consigners are coming in, they, they register their car, they give us a reserve price on it. Now the public can come, anyone can come. You don't have to be a dealer or anybody specially uh, to be a car collector. And then the people come in and you get a chance to look at the cars. In this case, you can start them up, see them drive across the auction block and make your decision. And uh, in, in, a, in a lot of cases, it, it's a way, you know, if you hold the car for a reasonable amount of time, the return is great on the investment. But at one o'clock, we will start the uh, physical auction of which the cars, uh, maybe I think today 75 cars are running across the auction block. Tomorrow, maybe as close to 150 cars will run across the auction block. Uh, each car is on the auction block for about four minutes where bidders uh, can uh, bid. And if it, meet, if, it, if it meets the reserve, the car will be sold or if the owner decides to lower his reserve, the car will be sold. So it's, it's, it's just, uh, you never really know who's gonna buy and who's gonna sell till the process starts. It's amazing that we have an awful good selection of real fine quality cars. We have a number of cars, Bentleys and Rolls Royces, that will go over $100,000. We also have some Camaros that might go for $6,000 or $5,000. So we've got your car here. Uh, Mr. Picari has your car here for sure. Uh, you just got to decide what your price range is. In addition to the auction, there's a vendor's area where you can buy uh, souvenirs and also parts for antique cars and just other collectibles. Uh, it's set up for food and drink, you, you know, and everything is great. Five dollar drink, I mean five dollar food, two dollar drink, you know, everything is set up to make it easy for you to come. The place is air conditioned. Uh, as you can see, the weather looks a little bad, but we've got, we're undercover and the, the auction is actually inside an air conditioning building. There will be another auction next year. I think you need to come. Uh, it, it is really a lot of fun just to be in the process and watch the process. This auction should grow. It is, it is the desire of Mr. Vicari and the sponsor to make it as big as some, some of the other auctions in the country bring it hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to the community in which they are. And they uh, go on for seven or eight days of auctioning cars. So uh, it, that's where he's trying to go, and it would be a big another segment of tourism that we could move into if it is successful.